Take the cloud recording. At this time, Sergeant Hope, start with the opening. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, and welcome to the New York City Council Committee on Finance. At this time, will all council members and council staff please turn on their videos? Thank you. To minimize disruption, please place all cell phones and electronic devices to vibrate. Thank you. Chair Drum, we are ready to begin. Okay, thank you very much. Good morning and welcome to today's meeting of the Committee on Finance. I am Council Member Daniel Drum and I'm the chair of the committee. This morning we have been joined by Council Members Gibson, Cornegie, Koslowitz, Lansman, Rosenthal, Van Bremer, Rodentrick, Adams, Amphrey Samuel, Moyer, Powers, Lewis, Mario, Jonai, Ayala, Combo, and Jaeger. Uh, this morning, the committee will be voting on two items to close out fiscal 2020 before the end of the fiscal year. I'm sorry. Uh, we will meet again later today to vote on the items to adopt the fiscal 2021 budget. The first resolution is an expense budget modification which represents movements of approximately $4 billion of funding from various city agencies and $1.8 billion to various city agencies to implement fiscal 2020 expense budget changes, including reallocations of appro appropriations that were included in the fiscal 2020 budget to fund council local initiatives. Next, we have a transparency re resolution. The transparency resolution sets forth the new designation and changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local aging and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. Organizations appearing in the resolution that have not yet completed the pre-qualification process conducted by the Mayor's Office of Contract Services, the council or another entity are identified in the attached charts with an asterisk. As with all transparency resolutions, council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts that you may have with proposed sub subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Those are all of today's items. Are there any questions? Okay, hearing none, I'll now ask Billy Martin, the, com uh, the committee clerk to call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on finance. Items are coupled, chair drum. Aye. Gibson. I vote aye. Carnegie. Combo. I pass. I'm experiencing some technical difficulty. I don't know if you can hear me, so I'm going to pass now. Kozlowitz. Can you hear me? Oh, Council Member Combo. Yes. Technical difficulty. You're breaking up, Council Member Combo. Can you hear me? Just say yes. I know. Um,
I'll, I'll, I will circle back. Council Member Kozlowitz. I vote aye. Lanceman. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Van Bramer. Aye. Gordenchik. Councilmember Gordentry. Aye. Thank you. Adams. Aye. Amphrey Samuel. Aye. Ayala. Aye. Jonai. Aye. Moya. Aye. Powers. Aye. Lewis. Aye. Mario. Uh, yes. Council member Carnegie. I I vote I. Oh, I I voted I before, but it, my, I guess I was muted. I didn't hear you. Okay, thank you, Councilmember. Uh, Councilmember Cumbo. I vote I. Thank you. Vote on the committee on finance. All items have been adopted by a vote of seventeen in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Thank you. Has everyone had the opportunity to vote? Okay, I believe with that then I'm going to adjourn this meeting at uh, 1034 a.m. in the morning and um, we will see you later on this afternoon. Thank you again, this meeting is adjourned.